Rachel and today I'm back with another video this time we are going to do our first spread in my PP weeks for 2021 now you will notice that she is a bit boring looking she's not decorated she's got no tabs um, and yeah she's just very plain and that is because I have not yet done my setup video because I'm still waiting for a few bits to arrive but I have stripped this one down and taken everything out of the cover just so that I could keep it protected and I've also just filmed you a flip through of this as well but I think that's going to go up first before this video so you should have already seen that if you haven't it will be coming uh, soon so I realized that even though I had one week left in my other PP weeks I needed to move into this one because the first of the month so the first of January falls on the Friday and I didn't want to have the first in a different planner it would be silly to start this planner say on the fourth which is the Monday so I did want to um, move into here now now i'm just wondering whether or not i'm still going to need my clip i'm still going to need my clips aren't i i think this is just a planner that doesn't lie flat uh just bear with me a second while i find my clips as usual i've lost them i'll be back in a minute okay so i found my clips and i've clipped her down and i realized that i haven't shown you the kit that i'm going to be using so i'm going to be using the starlight kit from josephine bow designs funnily enough and not intentionally this is actually the kit that i started my last pp weeks with uh, but i just feel like it's very new year's eve or new year's um sort of designed it makes me think of like a new year's eve party it's all glitzy and glamorous so i thought that that was perfect so we're going to start with the same one again and maybe we can compare and see how it turns out this time so yeah, if you watch that flip through, you'll be familiar with the style of planning that I do in this planner. This is my social media planner. Um, now, even if you do have a PP Weeks and you're not using it as a social media planner, um, you could adapt the layout that I use very easily to your uh, memory planning or forward planning or whatever it is that you use your book for. These kits um, are pretty standard. Um, and they will work for a lot of layouts. Now, I've instantly messed up because I've put Monday on that box why did I do that I'll tell you why I did that because I am talking as usual so we'll start the year off with the same way that I start most of the things that I do off by making a mistake and attempting to fix it I've got my trusty undo that is running out um, but I will repurchase this because as you all know I love it so this is going to get my sticker up nice and carefully and it will be able to be used again in a minute I'm just going to get the residue off there is a bit of residue on let me move the clip what am i like oh and i fired that clip across the room now as well i've got another one on my table never mind well i guess we're starting the year as we mean to go on full of planner related disasters right there we go we've got all the residue off there now in a minute we can pretend that it never happened I think I've got a little bit on the cover as well. Or is it on my finger? Oh, I'm a disaster today. Right, so let's find another clip because I fired that one across the room. There we go. Right. It's going to anti back my hands because I've got some residue on. Uh, my pocket back today, if anyone's interested, is the marshmallow fireside one. It smells beautiful. And whilst it isn't anti-back, it's quite good for getting any glue residue off your hands that you have on. If you do make a big disaster like I do every five minutes. Right, so we've got my Monday sticker. I'm going to put it in the right place this time. And there we go. Right, okay. How did I manage to mess up straight away? Honestly. So we've got Monday and Tuesday and I'm going to need a little bit of glue for that I think when I picked it up with the tweezers um, I think I oh I don't even know I've got a bit of the glue off onto the corner of the um, onto the corner of the tweezer right so let's move to Tuesday and Wednesday so I'm filming this on the Wednesday um, but I don't think it's going to go up until Friday for you. I'm actually ahead with my YouTube videos. I didn't want to end up over Christmas without any content going up, even though um, obviously I was going to not be filming as much because I was going to be spending time with my family and things. Um, but I so 
somehow ended up getting myself quite ahead um, and as I'm filming this video I have got three videos already scheduled for the next three days um, so yeah <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough content going up for you guys and it turns out I'm probably posting more than I have um, throughout the year anyway so I'm going to see how long I can keep that trend going now that I've got my light and I can film at night time as well that's going to help a lot because my problem was that I would like to film during the day um, when the kids were at school and Chris was at work because the house was quiet but obviously when we've got the holidays or Chris is having a day off or whatever um, I couldn't be filming I mean I could it's not that they won't let me it's more the noise uh, in the background that would be the problem um, Chris wouldn't be bothered at all if I wanted to film during the day but I film in the back room and as much as I would say to him right can you just try and keep it down just for 10-15 minutes so I can film a little video you would hear him raging at Call of Duty in the back of this video and nobody wants to hear that I don't want to hear that and I have to live with him <laughs> so yeah that wouldn't um that wouldn't be very good at all so now that I've got a video uh, now that I've got a ring light I can film these videos at night time game changer absolute game changer Right, so let's have a look for a couple of trackers. Let's see what I have got in here. You need two trackers that are the same colour or two trackers that will fit in nicely with this kit. Now, oh, that, what a shame that that's holographic foil because that would have gone uh, with the actual one that's in the kit. Although that circles not stars. Hmm, so what I think I might need to do then is to just have a look in my collection and see what trackers I've got. I do have a sheet of trackers from Josephine Bow Designs. Let's have a look what's on that. It's in here somewhere and it's near the back. I know it is because it's a sheet that I recently got. There we go. I think straight away I can see just at the top here uh, that this colour will, will be close enough. So I want to put two of these trackers down, one for my beauty account and one for my planning account there we go and then I think that we will um, pop down some kind of checklist or a checklist box If I trim this, trim the bottom one off so that we don't lose the decoration, I think that that will fit in. I'll just trim the last star off and I think that should do it. So I've just got my washi card and my slice tool from, no I haven't, I've got my pen by accident. No, I've got my slice tool from Amazon. Somebody did say the other week that they had gone on Amazon to have a look for this slice tool and they couldn't find it, but I believe that they did find... Um, a newer edition. This one is an old one now, I think. I was just making sure I hadn't gone through onto the page. When will I learn my lesson and not do that over the top of the page? Probably never. So we've just chopped off the last little uh, star and that makes it fit in there perfectly. Okay. So Monday, now I need my Stellagy because I've been writing what has been going up. I think on Monday, what went up on Monday? It was an other video, which means it was my what I got for Christmas video. So let's put that down. So we can put this down on a Monday because that was that was uploaded on Monday. Um, and then I need to film, edit and upload, don't I? I'm going to use these. Am I going to use those page flags? No, because I've got a few videos that I need to mark 
and I'm not going to have enough of the same page flags. But I do have these though and I think that they are a pretty perfect match. And actually they're gold foiled as well which is handy. I don't mind mixing metals. Um, but it is nice when I have something that perfectly matches. So we have got film. Edit and upload which we did and then I think I'm going to use one of these beautiful uh, headers and I'm just going to use that to mark a bit of space off at the bottom because I don't have anything else that I want to put there like that okay so that is Monday done now what did we do on Tuesday Tuesday was a plan with me so I think that was my January uh, B6 Stology setup so let's mark that down I don't really have any um, Instagram posts to put up on here so far because I haven't actually posted anything on Instagram over the Christmas period um, so this is going to be mainly just videos on this week I think and I'll get back properly into it next week. Um, so what did I say that was? I said January, didn't I? Uh, which one should we use? Let's use this one. Or, wait a minute, I'm not going to have enough of those boxes. So, if I just have a look in here and see if there's any boxes that I can mix in with this spread. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Do you think that that would go? I think it would because we've got quite a few different um, different variants of purple in this kit. So let's do B6 Stalogy January setup and then we'll do film, edit and upload. Oh, I like that. And then I've got another one there as well that I can use further on in the spread. So I'm going to put it down at the bottom, I think. Like so, just to be a little bit different. And then what can I put above it? I do have some deco. Um... I think I might cut a bit of this decoration down and use some of that. I'm going to do it on the top of this uh, folder and learn my lesson and not go through the page. Um, I think if I just cut, because then I can use the top bit as a header as well. So I think if I just cut it there, that that will be perfect. And then this bit can just go in that space like that. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. I like that. I'm happy with that. Right, so moving on to Wednesday then. Let's have a little look in my Stalogy. Wednesday's video. Oh, that's today. That is today. And that is the unboxing of my number seven uh, beauty calendar. By the time this video goes up, that video will have gone up. So this isn't um, this isn't going to be a spoiler. Um, so I can just use one of these little ones, I think. Number seven, beauty. Calendar. That was what my mum got me for Christmas. And I thought it would be fun to... Um, to do an unboxing video i know my channel is sort of a planner channel and it's definitely going to stay a planner channel like i'm not going to start doing makeup tutorials or anything like that i don't like showing my face on camera um but sometimes it's fun to do something a bit different isn't it and sometimes it brings new people over to my channel and then they realize that i do planner videos and maybe they'll get into um watching them and maybe even become a planner girl themselves uh, I just think it's nice to have a bit of variety and it just I just want to I just want to I just wanted to film it so I did so even if nobody else watches it it's there for me and I'll be able to watch it back um if I wanted to I was going to put a header down but I'm not going to do that I think I'm going to use a bit of deco a proper bit of deco a big one we'll use this wish upon a star one and 
and that can fill that space in right there like that so let's move on to thursday thursday tomorrow's video tomorrow's video what's tomorrow's video tomorrow's video is hobonichi week's plan with me it's actually the christmas week plan with me because i somehow ended up a week behind in my hobonichi spreads um i don't really know how but i did <laughs> Hobo Weeks plan with me. Whoops, there we go. We can have that one down on there. Um, and then I'm going to use three of these again to do film, edit and upload. Feels so weird today. Chris has gone back to work today, only for one day though. And then he's off again for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We're not doing anything, obviously, because of the current restrictions. Um, but maybe we'll just have a late night film night on New Year's Eve. And the kids can stay up as long as they can manage. <laughs> um, Jensen will stay up. Jensen will stay up till midnight. But Paige has been so tired lately. She's been asking to go to bed. Like on Christmas Day, she was asking to go to bed at half past five. And we didn't let her, right? I was like, no, you're going to have to stay up a little bit longer because I don't want to get up at five in the morning. Um, but yeah, she's been extremely tired, bless her. Christmas has got on top of her. Um, but yeah, it feels so weird. The days in between Christmas and New Year are just, just, I don't know, weird, aren't they? There's no other way to describe it. And um, I was talking to my friend yesterday. I felt quite low yesterday. I felt quite deflated and not upset i wasn't upset i wasn't crying or anything like that i was fine but i just felt a little bit meh i know you know what i mean like you get like that don't you and i think it was a lot of rich food um quite a bit of alcohol and then obviously christmas has gone um and i'm not running around like an idiot there's no planning going on for uh, new year's eve or new year's day or anything like that and i think it just sort of everything had just stopped and it just left me sort of in a little bit of a slump and i was like Oh, I feel a bit crappy, um, but, I, but I feel a bit better today and not because he's gone back to work and I didn't want him here, but because him going back to work um, is just normal. Do you know what I mean? I needed things to be a little bit normal um, and yeah, him going back to work sort of means that I can potter around today. I can do some housework, film a couple of videos, play with Paige with her new um doll's house she did get the doll's house by the way if anyone was wondering from my astrology video the other day she did get the massive doll's house from uh smith's which means that i have to think of something else to get her from her birthday for her birthday sorry um so yeah she is chuffed with that but yeah a bit of normality is what i needed and i feel like chris going back to work and the days just being a bit more normal at home is really good for that the problem i've got though is that next week when Paige goes back to school Jensen doesn't. Um, Jensen's school have decided that they're going to do remote learning, which is not helpful because Paige is going to wonder why she's going to school and Jensen is off. And she's already getting antsy about going back to school as well. If she's heard me like on the phone, say, talking to my friend about this, um, or she's heard me talking to her nan on the phone, she's like, mummy day, no, it's a mummy day, it's a mummy day. So she's getting a bit panicky. So I already know that it's going to be a situation which isn't great really but it is what it is we'll get through it i think once she gets to school and gets to tell her friends all of her presents that she got and she does actually have her birthday to look forward to because her birthday is on the 14th of january oh what have i done apparently i'm doing them the opposite way around today can i cover that with anything that's going to annoy me that's a mistake um Let's get these dots up and instead I'm going to cover that space with a bit of decoration instead. Oh, and I've just found a header here. Let's use this header and not waste it. Put it at the bottom of here. So yeah, she's got her birthday to look forward to. Her birthday is the 14th of January. Although I felt bad about that as well because I realised that Jensen's birthday is in August. So he always gets his school day. Uh, he always gets his birthday on a day off. And Paige 
her birthday is always going to fall on a school day, which I just felt was a little bit mean. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to use my rubber. Ordinarily, I wouldn't use the rubber on this. I don't really like it. So you can see it's done a good job of rubbing it out. And so I can stick a sticker on top of it and you won't be able to see through it. If I do hold it up to the camera, you can see that you can still see the words. And it's sort of gone a little bit yellow and a little bit mucky. Um, so sometimes when I make a mistake on a sticker and then I sort of bin it and say, oh, I know I've wasted a sticker, but I'm really sorry. A few times I've had a few comments of people saying, oh, by the way, do you realise that your pen is an eraser? And I do, I do realise that, but I don't like it. And that is the reason why. So we're just going to put a bit of deco at the bottom there. We've double decoed on Friday, but never mind. Um, I think it, it's turned out really cute. And then... Um, let's put a bit of decoration down for Saturday as well. And we will just put a quarter box on the top of that. Actually, no, we won't. I've changed my mind. I'm just going to save that sticker on there. I'm going to put a page flag. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to put my beautiful weekend banner. Oh, that was close. I nearly missed that. I'd have been really upset if I'd not put that down. Beautiful. Right, OK. And then I think what I would do for Friday is on Friday I will put that beautiful uh, page flag down. I just feel like I want to bring a little bit more pink in. We're very purple heavy and we've got this nice pink here, so let's put that in. And then I'm going to put down this pink um, checklists just to put any of next week's to-dos on if I need to. And we'll fill the space in with a little header. like so this is just such a pretty kit i loved it last year when i used it i knew i was going to love it this year it's so gorgeous let's put our date um our washi strip down and one on the other side There we go. And then I think that we can do our date dots now. So let's have a look what date dots I've got. I just need some simple gold um, circles, I think. I think these will be perfect. <clears throat> so I'm going to work backwards because I know that the third is Sunday. I don't want to mess up. <laughs> For somebody that has a lot of planners, I get the dates wrong so often. <laughs> but never mind. Tell you what I struggle with is realising whether or not months are a 31 or a 30. And then don't even get me started on February. February just messes me right up. Uh, 29. And... 28. I've just realised that I actually wrote the stickers as we went along today. Normally I'll say, right, I'm going to fill it in, I'll be back in a sec, but I just wrote them as we went along today. I must be feeling braver. I don't normally do that because I hate my writing on camera. Um, I must be getting over it. And there we go. So yeah, I think you will agree that that has turned out beautiful. Just because I've got my other PP weeks right next to me, shall we have a look at how I did it last year? Since that was the first week that I used. How funny that I chose the same kit twice. It looks beautiful both times. I'm sure that you will agree. One of my favourite kits. One of my favourite ever kits. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, I think that's turned out beautifully. I will carry on as the week goes on and usually I pop a picture in my Instagram stories as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. My PP Weeks setup video will be coming soon once my tabs have come and we will get her looking a little bit more beautiful um, and 
uh, yeah, we'll get her dressed. We'll get her dressed. She's a little bit nakey nakey at the moment. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you did. If you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye.